Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. Restore Justice 2012 bills itself as a grassroots effort working to unseat three judges on Florida's Supreme Court. On the website, founder Jesse Phillips cites a 2006 case on the death penalty and a 2010 case that saw a constitutional amendment relating to health care get thrown off the ballot. The judges decided the ballot summary would have misled voters. You know, they made a decision uh, two months before the election to, uh, from, from my viewpoint, disenfranchise every voter in Florida. Uh, who has a right to vote on these ballot questions. Lawmakers fixed what the court found objectionable. Voters will see the health care amendment in 2012, along with three Supreme Court judges on the same ballot. All right. Those judges made news when they had to stop a court proceeding to file paperwork to have their names on the ballot. That brought this letter from the sponsor of the once failed health care amendment, suggesting the judges broke the law. Their spokesman says nonsense. The campaign to oust three Florida judges comes after judges were kicked off the bench in Iowa, and insiders fear if they win here, they'll spread the campaign nationally. And the justice's spokesman says that makes this vote about more than three judges and a couple of opinions. And whether or not we have a fair and impartial judiciary that acts without fear or favor. Voters traditionally cast fewer ballots for judges than they do on big time races at the top of the ballot. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Massalinda reporting.